What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sean for 4JLU, for Geeks Like You. You're now tuned in to my review of Naruto Shippuden, episode 321, titled Reinforcement. Now, we're out of the fillers, we're back on track with the main story arc of the Ninja War, and um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been looking forward to this episode, especially since you know who came out in this episode. But, before I get there, I just want to say that uh, this episode moved kind of slow. You know, I, again, you know, a lot of people were pretty hyped about us going back into the main story arc, so I'm pretty sure we were looking forward to a lot of action, but... Um, I, I was let down a little bit. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna um, lie about that. Uh, it was a lot of Naruto going around saving different people, uh, different, different clans, the different groups. Uh, he saved Sakura. He saved Hinata. Um, he came in on a battlefield where um, Shikamaru was, and, and he was just basically telling everybody which one of the Zetsus and which one of the real people. And we had a lot of that for a good, I'd say, 20 minutes, and then. Um, we got a part where Mu came out, and I was like, alright, yes, yes, now I know where we're going. Mu came out, he summoned up the casket, and when the casket burst open, I got chills because I knew who was coming out, and that shit was about to go down. Um, so, Madara came out, they didn't show his face at first, they just showed his hands and um, sort of a, a outline or a silhouette of him um, behind a dust cloud. And um, he was just like, what? I came back with, with Edo Tensei. I'm supposed to come back with the, the reanimation jutsu from the Rinnegan. Like, what the hell is coming on? I was like, all right, yes. Um, still felt a little bit like a filler. But then towards the end where um, Madara was actually, like, um, looking down at all the, the ninjas, like uh, Naruto, Gara, and Anoki, I was like, all right, yeah, I, I definitely remember this from the manga. Shit is about to go down. And they showed his face, and everybody's like, what? That's Madara? Oh, all right, that's the guy who's behind the mask. And then they're like, what? wait, wait a second. How was he here? He's dead. They're looking at his eyes like, that That can't be the guy who's behind the mask because he's over there with other Jinchuriki. So who the hell is the guy behind the mask? And um, the episode cut off there. I mean, we already know, obviously. I'm not going to spoil it for those who haven't seen the, or read the manga, but... We know who's behind the mask, and this is the real Madara. This is the guy who's about to put a hurt on the Kage, right? So, uh, yeah, you know, I was really hyped when he came out. I'm just hoping that they don't uh, take a, a detour away from the Madara and the Kage battle and start focusing on the rest of the stuff that didn't happen in the manga, like little battles between Kakashi, Sai, and them, you know, fight, still fighting Zetsus. You know, I just want that, that Kage battle to be focused on throughout, like, three to four episodes, and then we can jump on to the rest of the stuff. I just want to see that, continue that, and make sure it's um, all connected, you know? Just make sure it's all connected so we don't feel like, oh, right, yeah, yeah, the Kage's, oh, shit. Really? Really? Hinata? Like, really? But, like, I, I don't care. So, um, I would definitely give this uh, definitely give this episode uh, 3 out of 5. Like I said, it started out slow, but it, it picked up towards the end. Just hoping that they can keep that momentum throughout the, the rest of the episodes that are coming at us. And I am really excited that we are out of the fillers. Thank you, Lord. So, again, uh, 3 out of 5 for me, guys. This is Sean from 4GLU. For Geeks IQ, stay tuned for more reviews, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good one. ね、の前の